So if you're trying to get your ex back and you're over pursuing your ex, you're doing it wrong. We have one simple, powerful method that will not only get your ex back, but will have her chasing you. And that's coming up right now. So a lot of you guys are over here acting like a bunch of little care bears. Way too much emo emotions involved. We're breaking it down to you right now exactly how when you stop caring, she's going to turn around and start to chase. She's going to have that fear of losing you. After the breakup, when you pull yourself back, when you pull yourself away and out the picture, she's going to start wondering, did she make the right decision? Is what she did the, the best move for her? It's almost as if when someone's taken out of their life, after being in her life all day, every day, nonstop, for like two or three years in a row or whatnot, and then all of a sudden you pull yourself out the picture, she's going to wonder about you. She's going to be thinking about you. And that's what you want to do. When you pull yourself away, she's going to be nosy. Even, I mean, woman, uh, okay, not to say... Women are already nosy. Exactly. Anyway. They're already, yeah, they're already nosy. nosy as it is. <laughs> you know, they do their, their research and their homework on you. But when you pull yourself away and you're no longer in their face and like calling them every single day and blowing their phone up, you know, you don't see each other all as much as you used to see each other, they're going to start to wonder about you. They're going to start thinking like, what's Murphy doing? What's Murphy doing? That's when they start doing more stalking, I guess we can say, on your social media, your Facebook and all that stuff. And, and you want to flip the script and have them doing drive-bys. We talk about it a million times on this channel. Doubt and uncertainty are the foundation of attraction as well as tension. If you don't have tension in your relationship or from a girl that you just met or even after the breakup, you're killing the chance of getting back with it. So you have to have that tension and pulling back and going, you know, going your own way and moving away from her and stop blowing her up, blowing her phone up and over pursuing is going to allow that fear is, as he just said, to come about. When you leave, you're showing her that you can live a life without her. It's gonna provoke a lot of emotions in her, a lot of positive emotions, and those emotions are the building blocks of attraction. And eventually what's gonna happen is she's gonna reach out to you because she's gonna be questioning her decision after the breakup. And that kind of brings us to our next point. Like when you stop caring, she's gonna chase because it shows it has confidence and that's what women are attracted to. They're attracted to your confidence. It's gonna show that you have the confidence. All right, wait a minute. Are you saying that women actually find confidence sexy, man? As odd as it sounds, that, as odd as it sounds, that is shocking. They do. For some odd reason, it took me it took me about 25, 26 years to discover mm -hmm. they don't like when you act cry, babyish, and needy, like and that. like she a little cake boy. They don't like that, believe it or not. And it took me so long to realize that. Like, wait a minute, hold on. You mean these crying and, and writing mm -hmm. these these letters to her, telling her how I'm suicidal and how I, <laughs> I can't live without her? Like, she don't like that? Believe it or not, <laughs> she doesn't. Then the reason why confidence is sexy to women is because it shows, well, it shows a lot of different things, but it shows boldness. And you can't do a more bold act than to walk away. That's why when you stop caring, she will start to chase because it's you're showing boldness that you say, look, I don't want to be just pining over you and begging you and crying and having night terrors because I can't get you back. I'm not going to do any more drive-bys. You take your self-respect, you value yourself, and you move on. That's a bold act because look, women know that most guys after their breakup, they don't handle it well. And not only do they not handle it well, they go on a downward spiral. Women have seen this in their relationships plenty of times. The guys just dissolve from who they were. This very masculine guy, real strong guy, macho guy, and they whittled down into little cake boys after the breakup. So when you build yourself back up and move on and stop caring about if, you, if she's gonna come back, you can't act in a more bolder, demeanor than that and that's it incredibly attractive and your ex will see that if she still has feelings for you and then she will definitely reach out these marines out there man this is like this is like this breaks my heart like when these guys are overseas and these guys are like straight fighting for their lives and for the country they got no problem going out and just being cold-blooded killers and just <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Protecting right. what they love and their family and the and the, and the, and the, and the country, if not the world, you know? And then all of a sudden, when it comes to a woman, they get all like emotional and cry baby-ish and I love you and come back to me, baby and needy and desperate and all it's that crazy. stuff. You know what I'm saying? You need to have that confidence. You need to have the confidence to be able to walk away and pull back. That's how you get her to chase. That's how you create attraction from her. This guy's a stone cold machine, a stone cold killer. This dude shot up a, a whole village like Rambo with a, a, a M16, and he's scared of a five foot two girl who smells like mangoes and roses. Help me understand. <laughs> Please. Exactly. I don't understand this. 
Another reason why when you when you stop caring, she starts to chase is because it's a universal law that when you care too much, you get attached. It creates attachment. You get too attached to them. And what happens when you're too attached to them? You become soft. You become codependent and you rely on them. You can't live your own life. You can't live freely without them being in it. And what a lot of guys do is like they put their guard down. And a lot of guys put their guards that put their guard down way too fast. It's like you have to be comfortable with who you are. You know, the moment you become codependent in a relationship, you're already like at the bottom of the totem pole basically you know what i'm saying like your your life is already like sketchy as it is because all it takes is one little huh i'm tired of you i i think we should spend some time apart and then crack oh my god my life's falling apart my other my other half is gone it's not you know she's she's no longer here what do i do how, how do i survive you need to just be comfortable with who you are and, and just not be codependent because when you press on something too much, when you have too much of an attachment to it and you care too much, those are emotional behaviors. Those are, um, you know, you're going down an emotional path and there's nothing wrong with emotions. We are, we're not robots, we're not T2000 out here. We're not made from uh, Google. I mean, uh, we're not developed by <laughs> Skynet. I mean, I didn't, I didn't say, I didn't mean to say, I meant, I meant Skynet. <laughs> we're human beings, so we're naturally gonna be emotional. But you don't want to be consumed by your emotions. And that's what caring too much does. Because now you're not thinking logically. And when you put too much into it, you can't make a sound decision. You can't make a, a, a holistic decision if your emotions are clouding your good judgment and your your you know your logical brain. But you always want to remain balanced. We're not saying think too logically. And we're not saying think too, too emotionally. We're saying strike a balance. We had a call, a coaching call a couple of days ago. And the guy said, you know what? I got, she left me and he said, the breakup was was needed. The breakup exposed his flaws. You're being needy, you're being emotional, you're caring too much. It's going to expose that about you and it's going to it's it's going to be very blunt and it's going to show a lot of things about you that you have never seen before. But these are good things because now you get a chance to really take a, a gander at your life and say, "All right, well, I got to work on this because when I fall in love, I get too far in love. I fall too far deep. We had another call, the guy said, you know, we on a Zoom call, and it's obvious that he's in, in great shape, fantastic shape. So you can just look at somebody and say, oh, okay, this guy, he's in the gym heavy. And he was saying he was dating a woman and he got so deep into her, he started being up, spending his time with her, and he stopped going to the gym. And women see that. That lets them know, like, wow, this guy, he's spending a lot of his time with me. He's starting to care too much. You have to look at yourself. It's like, man, I stopped going to the gym. I stopped hanging out with my friends. I stopped doing the podcast that I wanted to do. I was missing stuff and being late to my job, oversleeping because we have morning sex and all that stuff. And you get so consumed by the relationship that it takes you off your square. So you want, you can't get too too deep and you care too much because it's going to throw other your, your 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 sound brain your logical brain off whack to go a little bit further on why you stop caring and you know it's when she starts to chase it's like you pretty much stop relying on her and then you really start to like rely on yourself for happiness you know a lot of guys are like i need a girlfriend you know i i want a girlfriend in my life i, I need a girlfriend to complete me and, it's and like diddy like the that. song with diddy i need a girl <laughs> yeah right, diddy and Usher. Right, me, make like, come on. my wife yeah and you don't need a girl for happiness you know, what the hell I need a damn girlfriend for I'm happy without one you know like I can get laid when I want to you know what I'm saying I have fun when I want to mm -hmm. I can go out and do whatever I want to when I want to you know it's just I'm, I'm a free man I can have fun you know what I'm saying some guys like to be in a, in a relationship that's cool that's dandy you should never actually depend on having a girl in your life to be happy to go out and have fun when you're in a relationship man that takes away a lot of your freedom <laughs> I know a lot of people agree with me on that, but I'm just saying, like, I feel like that takes away your freedom. I want to be able to have fun. I want to be able to be happy, you know what I'm saying, live my life. I'm, I'm sure you can do it with a girlfriend too, yeah, but at the same time, it's like, you should never rely on a girl to be happy. You should have that within you. A lot of men get lost in their relationship, and that freedom definitely gets taken away. And I know a lot about having your freedom taken away, because I'm still on probation. Miss <laughs> Dinglewood has been a straight B. <laughs> She's been a straight a-hole to me all this time. You have to look at yourself like that alpha shark. We always talk about that alpha shark is alone. It's in the water, it's cold, it's dark. He's looking for that next hunt. You always have to have that, that, that mentality, that alpha shark mentality that you're looking out and you gotta keep moving forward. Alpha sharks, they, they have to keep moving forward. If they don't, they die. When you stop caring, that's when she'll start chasing because she'll see that about yourself. And it's sexy because women, they always talk about, you know, I want my man to, you know, put me first and all of the R&B songs we've heard growing up, put your woman first and these baby face songs. That's just propaganda. Women actually don't want to be put first. 
you know, they want to be under the, the leadership and the guidance of their man. They want to submit to the to the leadership of their of the man and the direction of their man. And when you put your woman first and you're self reliant when you're relying on her to make you happy, she's gonna end up resenting you for it because for one, it's too much pressure. And number two, a man should never be validated by his woman as far as you know his happiness and his purpose in life. His purpose should be his purpose and his woman her purpose should be his leadership. When you're caring too much, you're putting too much pressure on your woman and women don't respond to pressure. And a lot of women respond to pressure in a lot of different ways, but just, they just, just know that women do not respond to being put on a pedestal well. They don't like it, regardless of what they say. So she's gonna start to chase the moment you stop caring because it's like, her mind was already like on like an autopilot knowing that you're like madly in love with her and that you're obsessed with her and that you're always going to be there for her. She can go out and screw as many guys as she can and, mm -hmm. and all it takes is a simple phone call or, or, or a little text and you're going to you're gonna beat over to her house and go over there and be at her beck and call. Oh, you got a flat tire? Where are you at? I-75, here here I come. Then you jump on your bike and you, you, know, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ride on like down 75 with the, with, the, with the car jack and your right. backpack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You fix that tire. Like, she knows. Like, women say it. The power of the... Jay-Z and R, R. Kelly did a song. Of, R, Ke R. Kelly is probably not the best example in this, but they did a song <laughs> called Power of the... You know? R. Kelly ain't never, was a, good, he ain't never a good example. You can't... Kelly, you, you know how to ruin a, a, a party or ruin your impression at a party, man? You know, I was listening to this R. Kelly song the other day and... Ooh! Oh. Record not scratch. Me. Not around me. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's suspicious about everything for the rest of the night. <laughs> right. You know what I you know who I used to think was a great comedian was Bill Cosby. Everybody, everybody <laughs> instantly be like <laughs> Right. What well, was funny about him, bro? <laughs> <laughs> so another reason why when you stop caring, she starts to chase us. Women want to chase, okay? We have to beat it into your brain every video. Women do not like when a man chases because it's unnatural for them. Men initiate. We don't chase. Because they say, well, we want the guy to do, th we want the guy to chase, we want the guy to pursue. Man is going to initiate. I'm going to set the date. We're going to go here. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Wear this. Meet me there at, at 8 o'clock. That's initiated. It's not chasing. And in terms of a breakup, okay, we're not together anymore. This is what you want. We th you want to move on. You want to date someone new. Okay. All right, cool. I'm, I'm not happy with that, but I wish you the best of luck. I love you. Take care. That's not chasing. That's not an issue. That's what women want. When you come to the table and come to your ex like that, she's like, wow, this guy is a man. Yeah, we're both hurting, but he handled that very well. So the whole dynamic is flipped when you chase. When you're beating her down, beating her, oh, hope you're not beating her down. <laughs> hope you're not beating her down because you're never going to get her back in. <laughs> That's the case. Some girls like that. I've <laughs> seen plenty of girls get busted in the face right. a couple times. And, I just love him. I just want to try it. Right. I'm gonna give him one more chance. His uncle beat him and when he was younger. He, this is how he takes his love out on me. This it's is not his, his fault. fault. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when she chases, now it's that's where the mystery comes in. That's when the doubt, that's when the uncertainty comes in. And that's what has to happen in the dynamic of a breakup. And when you're doing the, the chasing, there's no room for attraction. There's no, no room for space. There's no room for doubt and uncertainty. There's definitely no room for attention. Tension, rather. So you're killing the attraction. And women love to chase and always remember that. Because we know it's hard to stop caring. Just, oh, just stop caring. Wake up one day and just stop caring. That's, I know it's hard. It's, it's difficult to do that. So that's why we've got a lot of videos dedicated to stop caring, walking away and moving on and ignoring your ex and moving on to greener pastures. So go ahead and click that link to the left. And we'll see you on the flip side. Peace. Peace.